Now let's move on to this uh, feel-good story now. An Eldorado Park man's dream of becoming a leading businessman is slowly becoming true. Sheldon Tatchell, who started a barbershop business from his parents' stoop years ago, is now entering into a partnership with a leading pharmacy, Discam, to distribute his hair products. The legend's barbershop founder, Sheldon Tatchell, joins me now. Uh, Sheldon, a very good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Thanks for having me on the show, Sampira. I understand you cut the, you, you gave the TSCM CEO a haircut this yes, morning as yes. a symbol of your partnership. How cool <laughs> is that? Yeah, yeah, no, it was a good, it was a, it was a feel good uh, haircut because, yeah. because we share similar stories and, and uh, being able to, to grasp his story, I actually, mm -hmm. I actually saw, I actually saw, so basically the synergy and, and basically where legends came in and, and being able to bond with this game as well. Okay. Yeah. So what, what kind of products are these that will be distributed? So we have products uh, ranging from uh, your beard oil, your hair cream, your wave cream as well, because you know a lot of guys, guys try to get waves. <laughs> so, so we got wave cream. Uh, we, all, we, we also got our double-edged blade, uh, which is quite popular because okay. you know like okay. the, the people know the other blades, but we have our yes, legendary yes. blades. So we have a whole whole legendary product line that uh, that will be going into the desk camp stores and, and and we're really excited because because we can the first week already we've seen products fly off the shelf and this came had to wow. just put in another order so yeah you know sheldon the last time we chatted was uh, on our sister show about last year when you opened your 50th shop yes and now you have about 60 62 shops yes and yes, you're expanding right. into botswana <laughs> yeah yeah so so f uh, Fortunately for us, we we managed to open twelve extra stores uh, after we spoke, mm. and uh, and these stores are located in Namibia, Botswana, and Lesotho as well, and uh, and the bulk of them in South Africa. Okay, and yeah. uh, you know you you build your business from the ground up, and yes. uh, you understand the importance of uh, diversifying and expanding your business. Let's talk about how it all started for you. How did you found Legends Barbershop? Yeah, so it was final by myself, just cutting on the stoop in El Dorado Park. Mm. All I just had was uh, a clipper and a chair. And, uh, and one thing that I saw, the demand of people wanting that bond with a barber, because, mm. because barbers back then, it was just a monetary transaction. It was just, just I cut you, give me the money, finish. Right. Where I came in, I actually made it a bit, I took it up a bit notch to build a relationship with a person. Yes. And a uh, simple thing that I'd done was, was I had a notebook and a pen, so after every conversation, uh, I actually wrote down that person's name, the conversation we had, so next time that person comes sits on my chair again, I'm able to relate or make reference to, to basically the last time I cut there. And that's, and that's a simple methods I used to build relationships, and those relationships lasted, lasted over 10 years and wow. a few of those customers, I'm still serving them up until today. You know, Sheldon, I quite like your point of, uh, you know, building relationships. And it's not just a, a business transaction, but yes. you build a relationship. Because yes. the customer will definitely come back. That's true. And uh, speaking of relationships, you had, uh, you know, you had a working relationship with the, the late uh, hip-hop star, Ricky Rick. Yes. And I understand that you cut his hair. Yes, yes. Uh, I gave him his last haircut. Uh, uh, just... Yeah, it was one of the hardest things that, sure. that I'd done. Uh, I mean, uh, but I think it was really, it was really, it, it, it took me about, it took me about two or three hours just to give him a haircut because, because it was that back and forth of, of, uh, of being able to cry one side and now you're going, yes. cutting yes. his hair. And, and it's, and it was just that emotional thing. But I think it was one of the best things that I could have done for him uh, because he, he would love to see me giving him that haircut, uh, yeah, it was it. It was really a tough one, but I mean, I mean, our relationship has has spanned over the past six, seven years, and and, mm -hmm. and it's just grown from strength to strength. So, so yeah, I mean, we all miss him. We all mm -hmm. miss him dearly, mm -hmm. but we'll continue uh, with his legacy. Yeah, certainly, most certainly, yes. and. Uh, I mean, what, what, what makes people keep on coming to Legends Barbershop? I mean, what is yeah. it uh, that makes you tick? Yes. Yeah, so, so, one thing, so one thing, many people think it's a haircut. Uh, I do say that, that we do give the best haircuts. Yeah. <laughs> and our barbers are trained uh, from different communities. So I think, uh -huh. so I think that, that, sense of, that sense of being able to cut by a barber that comes from from down the road, road where you live in, it's, it's basically hard woman. So mm -hmm. I think that's mm -hmm. one thing. Uh, but I would say also the relationship that gets built with a barber and a customer, that, that's something that from the stoop, that I learned from the stoop, it's something that I've 
stood by along the way. Mm. And, uh, and yeah, I think just that thing just makes a huge, huge difference in people's lives and being able to, to have that relationship ongoing. And uh, perhaps the gist of my question, what I really want to know is, uh, you know, people have complained, well, not really complained, but yeah. uh, lamented the fact that uh, Legends Barbershop is extremely expensive. <laughs> uh, but people still keep on yeah. coming to Legends Barbershop. Uh, yeah. I mean, what is it about the, the, the high price of yeah. uh, uh, Legends, Barber, uh, Legends Barbershop? Yeah. Like yeah, no, I think, uh, I think if you're looking at the prices, the price is, the price you have to uh, take few facts into account because yeah. because you're looking at the uh, barbers that has been trained you understand mm -hmm. you're looking mm -hmm. at the whole structure of a shop but I do think that our prices are not expensive I do think that we're quite reasonable a standard haircut goes for 120 rand which which if you want to do it do it two or three times a month mm -hmm. you can afford it okay. so yeah, so I do think personally that uh, that our prices are quite reasonable. So I yeah. would also pay 120 bucks for my non-existent hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be half price for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Then, in terms of uh, you know expansion into some areas, because Legends has been said to be operating uh, in some areas exclusive to the elite. Is that true, yeah. though? No, unfortunately, we we are located in. In your townships, okay. so so in majority of townships, whether it's in Soweto, whether it's whether it's in Shoshanguve, all across the country, there is there is a there is a legends in the township, okay. and and it's something that 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 we stand by. I think I think one of the things that we would like that we've been doing across is is making a difference in the community, mm -hmm. and that's why you see so we're going out to schools. We want to impart our knowledge in the school kids. Are we going out to old age homes to basically give them free haircuts? It's, mm -hmm. And that, that's, that's one of those values that we stood by ever since we started right, the business. Right. And you've recently partnered with uh, Uber Eats and now yes. you've partnered with uh, Discam. Any yes. plans for more partnerships and expansion? Yes, yes, we do have a lot of plans up in the pipeline. And I do yeah. think that uh, uh, these, these brands that we've partnership just have the same alignment, same goals. Mm just to take our brand to the next level there's also there's also one of the partnerships that we that we pride ourselves in it's a company called great african head that also okay. has helped us uh with regarding our product development oh, okay. and being able to and being able to take our products uh to the market as well okay uh, also are ladies also catered for yes yes okay yes so so our lady Ladies do have uh, legendary products as well, so you okay. have, uh, so you do have, have products for ladies, uh, which is, which is like uh, items that you use to make the curls in your hair, mm. your sprays. Mm. So, so there is definitely products for ladies. It's uh, so I think like, Simbio, just to go back, I think I think one of the things of the products is to solve a problem that that we've been having. You understand because the products have been developed to actually solve certain types of products mm, mm, mm. that men face that women face along the way and that's the reason why those products are there especially all right uh, sheldon all the best man yes. you really are inspiration to so many people and this is a feel-good story thank you very much thanks great, a lot for uh, having me Sim. great chatting to you man all right uh, that was uh, sheldon tachel the owner and founder of uh, legends barbershop all right let's take a look at the